Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kekeli and if you've been following me, you know that I really love electric vehicles. I think they are powerful, sustainable, good for the environment and they also make work very, very effective. So when I see what innovative companies like Cargo Bikes Africa are doing within the e-mobility space in Africa, I get so excited. So I visited their office at the Impact Lab in Accra to find out how they make these kind of bikes. You know, the cost involved, the challenges, and of course, to have some fun riding these bikes as well. If you want to find out more about these e-bikes, kindly like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure you share this video with other people who might be interested in e-bikes. So before we get into this video, I really want to define what an e-bike is. The first thing that came to mind was kind of like a motorbike, just that it's um, electric. But then this is more of a bicycle, but it also has a motor. So it's kind of in between the motorbike and a bicycle so it's an e-bike so in terms of defining the e-bike i want to go with the e-bike classification for america in america they have three classes for e-bikes for class one it says that the bicycle is equipped with a motor that provides assistance only when the rider is pedaling which ceases to assist when the bike reaches 20 miles per hour class two bikes the bicycle is equipped with a throttle actuated motor which ceases to assist when the e-bike reaches 20 miles per hour. And for class 3, the bicycle is equipped with a motor that provides assistance only when the rider is pedaling, which ceases to assist when the e-bike reaches 28 miles per hour. Now there are various bikes with um, a mixture of some of these classes. Let's get into the spec of the bike that I rode. So from the co-founders, the bike that I rode can produce about 750 watts of power and this can produce a top speed of about 45 kilometers per hour. Not too bad for a bike. You can use the throttle to accelerate or you could just ride it like a regular bike and the motor will kick in automatically to help you pedal and help. it is very useful when you need to climb hills and all that. It makes it very very easy for you to ride the bike like a normal bike just that you are being assisted by the motor. The bike can also carry 140 kilograms comfortably so that's roughly about two adults. It has two brakes like any bike but also has a headlights brake lights and traffic gators. the bike is actually roadworthy and can be used on the sidewalk as well so this is very good for delivery situations you have more routes you can either use the sidewalk or be on the main road whichever way because it's a bicycle it can traverse tight corners and alleys that normal and bikes or even cars will not be able to so technically you don't need a license to ride this bike since it's a bicycle and uh, when i checked the dvla website i didn't see any licensing required for bicycles in ghana so yeah i think you're good do you make them here in ghana so these are customized and assembled in ghana for now okay the actual objective of our business is to set up a micro factory Okay. Um, so we're currently in the process of actually manufacturing our first domestically designed frame. Okay. Um, so probably by September, we would have some of these that are locally produced. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah, but actually the bikes that you have, these are the first bikes that have been customized mm -hmm. for Africa mm -hmm. and locally assembled. Nice. Well, uh, I've not ridden a bike in over five years no now, so <laughs> <laughs> I think you should go first. Me. <laughs> I want to try. No, no, no. Let me demonstrate. I'll, I'll give it a try. Easy, how easy is this one? Please. That's what it is. That's what it is. Do you want to do it? Now, one of the features I really like about this is the tires. The tires are very big and strong. They make you feel very balanced on the bike. Because the tires are also large, they also grip a larger surface area of the road, making you feel very, very grounded as you're riding the bike. You know, one amazing thing I found is that these bikes are assembled right here in Ghana. Cargo bikes have been doing this for about two years now. They started in the northern region of Ghana and have iterated their bikes to suit the Ghanaian conditions. Now let's talk about the battery and the charging. When it comes to e-mobility, the battery and charging ability cannot be overlooked. A full charge can give you a range of about 70 kilometers before your next charge. To put it in perspective, that's about from the Temaranabout in Accra 
to Winneba. You might get to Winneba. I mean, very, very close to Winneba in the central region. And that's on a full charge. And to me, I think the versatility of the batteries is another plus for me since it allows you to easily swap your battery within seconds. So if you are riding and then you run out of power, you can just swap your battery and you have another 70 kilometers that you can ride out. Now, a new battery is synonymous with a new bike. So swapping can really increase the lifespan of your bikes. So they always feel brand new. So it's a nice this is a swappable battery. So oh. every bike comes with two batteries. So oh, I you can see. always either have one on charge or have another charged one with you. And then when you want to swap over, then you just swap it out. So we're in oh, the process nice. of setting up also batch solar charging stations across the city. Mm -hmm. So in the long term, you wouldn't even need to carry a spare battery. You'd be able to just navigate to one of our cargo bikes, swap points, and just swap out your battery. Completely. And that's it. Yeah. You can move on. Yeah. So this is really for us. We want to make sure that you can go as far as you need to go to actually reach the destination by making sure that there's just available batteries for you to swap out. So you don't need to worry about range. Wow. Just to enjoy your ride. That's cool. So in terms of charging stations too, I can see there's a so this one is like one thing there, but it's not yet ready, right? No, so this, the units are actually in the workshop. Okay. It's, a, it's like bevels. So it's like just a solar panel that connects to like a hybrid inverter. Okay. Charge the so it's solar powered. So it's so, so because like uh, you're getting free power basically. So we want to be able to, we want to be a, a sustainable within uh, like every facet. If we can support sustainable, and sustainable forms. So it might not. PV is one of the things we're looking at. For example, mm. set up in like uh, stations all around the city to make it easy for people to charge. Yeah. Also, other sustainable energy resources are also possible. Charging the battery is as easy as plugging them into a wall socket. It takes about five to eight hours to fully charge the bike. So, you can actually charge it at home. Just find the socket, plug it in, and you are charging. Within the next five to eight hours, your battery is fully charged and you can ride your bike for a few hours. Cargo Bikes is also setting up solar powered charging stations around town. So, it makes it easy for you to charge your bike wherever you're going. Maybe you're just having lunch. Whilst you're doing that, you're charging your bike and you get some extra kilometers on the go. Too easy, <laughs> actually. I think. Using it is very slick. It yes, just feels like a bike, honestly. Yeah. Feels like a simple bicycle. Mm -hmm. I can see the pedals are here. I noticed it when I was going. Yeah, so yeah. you can actually use it if maybe so you, you run out of battery. you control your speed. So you can cycle. So it's pedal assist. So if you pedal and you don't want to throttle, okay. it would still, depending on the level of power you're on, it would kick in. Okay. So it's also great for exercise oh, as well. But then you don't have the burden of the energy that you would use on a normal bike yeah so that's why you can go further in a day if you're using it for delivery you can do many, many more deliveries than you would and that's why the tuck delivery times are good as well that's awesome the nice thing about the bike as well is it's not just for guys uh -huh. it's easy for ladies as very well. easy and when you're very very at e -mobility, easy most of the e-mobility solutions are not thinking about women and Ghana's mm -hmm. were 60 percent women so I think this is really nice because what we've also found is people find it's a really easy solution. Even let's say your house girls want a vehicle to just pop to the shop on. This is you don't need a license. Um, you know it's a really easy. You can just ride. hop on and ride. Um, it doesn't go too fast for people to be scared by it, but it goes fast enough to keep up with traffic. Mm. Um, so yeah, this is also what we see, especially in our secondary towns. It's going to be a huge crossover products nice you um, know i was in the north yeah. some a while ago and yeah. you see a lot of ladies riding bikes so we there we actually designed this in the north oh nice um, we designed it in the north and then tested it in the south um, wow. we wanted something that could suit anywhere in ghana all right so now let's talk about what most of you are thinking how much does this thing cost do you guys offer any type of rentals for private people like if i were to use it privately can i rent it out no. Not yet. Not yet. If you wanted to buy cash outright, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but what we want to make sure is that we keep the ecosystem of the bikes. We want to make sure that we support the maintenance. Yeah. We're trying to change people's kind of perception of how to access mobility. Okay. And I think we have it in our mind that the only way to get a vehicle is to buy. Mm -hmm. But actually now there's better models. And we think our subscription model is better. Um, so if you're an individual 
the way that we're saying that you could get it is if you work for an organization mm -hmm. and then your organization registers with us mm -hmm. for their staff to then get access to the bikes. Okay. So then you can still pay individually for the relationship we will have with we, with your employer. With the employer. Yeah. So Cargo Bikes is currently targeting companies and organizations that can either buy or rent their bikes for businesses. They have a very cool subscription model that starts from as low as 400 Ghana CDs a month. And this price covers all other aspects of the bike, like men maintenance, the tracking, I mean everything. The servicing of the bike is 100% done by cargo bikes. You are just renting the bike, using it for your rounds. If you encounter any problems, you just need to give them a call and they come and take care of their own bikes. As a business owner, I think this will give you a lot of um, freedom of mind so you can really focus on your business and not turn into a makeshift mechanic trying to fix so many things concerning the bike, you know. And I think it being an e-bike also makes it very easy to fix because with a normal petrol bike, you are dealing with a whole engine with pistons and all that so many moving parts that when there's something wrong you really have to do a thorough analysis to find out where the problem is but with an e-bike it's quite straightforward it's easier to find a problem it's easier to troubleshoot and also easier and faster to fix what's the main issue you normally get when you're with the bikes like what's the issue people normally come back with uh uh it's punctured Punctures on the tires. Yeah, oh, okay. The <laughs> tires are too big. Eh? <laughs> no, it's more, it's more like typically when you ride bicycles, it's just the yeah. Power. I mean, that's like, one of the things you always change. You so, know, like from any bicycle you ride, we have puncture. It's like when you do. So it doesn't matter if you ride this one or that one, you're gonna get puncture. Oh, okay. We just resolve that one. But you can just pump it, right? Like okay. it's air. Yeah. Okay. We have some options available to us that may not be available to other people. Now, if you run a logistics company and you might be thinking of buying these bikes, they actually have a work to own model as well. So you can be using the bike and be paying monthly for 18 months. You'll be paying 600 Ghana CDs monthly for 18 months, after which you actually own the bike. So, yeah, imagine that having a fleet of electric bikes doing deliveries for you in town and you don't have to buy a liter of petrol. All you need to do is to just charge it like the way you charge your mobile phone not bad so yeah so for those like me who just wants an e-bike at home for moving around you can buy it for around 11,400 Ghana CDs to 14,400 Ghana CDs so if you're interested in that there are details below and if you want to buy me one feel free i don't mind so my experience with the e-bike was basically what i imagined a smooth noiseless ride with reasonable speeds and comfort the e-bike meets expectations so if you're a hardcore mountain biker or a casual biker i believe using the e-bike will offer you value no matter where you're coming from so yeah let me know what you think about these e-bikes here in ghana are they the future is it too early let me know your thoughts and let's discuss in the comments below